Hi, I'm Mark with Marks on the Grill. It's unboxing day. We've got a brand new fun product that just showed up at the door. Let's go have a look. All right, so this is my Blackstone 36 inch flat top griddle. We've been using this like crazy since it came to the house. We're really liking it. And the reason we got this piece, because I'm supposed to try and prepare and get ready and get my uh, demo written for HSN on uh, a grill like this from Blackstone that they're actually building specifically for HSN. And it's arrived today, so let's go see if it, if it picks up as well. I just need my toys. Maybe. These, are my, these have been my best friends for the last couple of months, let me tell you. We're doing breakfast on those, we're doing dinners, we did a, a yakitori, we did a Japanese barbecue, and lit up the, the uh, 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 little flaming onions. Trish and I went to uh, a Japanese restaurant because I wanted to learn how to do that. I called it uh, I called it Drunken Research. It takes 90 minutes to get a table at this place, and that's long enough to have three giant fishbowl beverages. So I got what I needed, but it was harder than it had to be. <laughs> Let me get the box out here, just like that. All right, there we go. My instructions. You know, one of the things that I really loved about the uh, the big one there, even despite its size, it was super easy to put together. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I've gotten some grills, and I mean, it's not a it's not an assembly process. It's a weekend. It's ridiculous. So I've chosen the thinnest, most unstable table that I could find in the house to do this with. So I think that should work out pretty good. There we go. This is where the camera guy catches the grill. All right. Oh, I think we're all right. Well, that's where the camera guy catches the table. I was mistaken. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Light as a feather. Let me get this guy off here. Did you know that in order for products, and uh, I think I'm right here. Uh, we can fact check or edit. In order for products to hit uh, HSN, they have to survive a drop test. I think they have to be able to pick the packaging up for two or three feet and drop it. Because that's how it gets delivered to your door. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they need to know that the packaging's good. And boy, howdy, packaging's good. In theory. Oh, okay, we're coming to come up in pieces here. I don't actually think this is going to require much for uh, assembly, which is going to be really, really kind of cool. This is the only part that I'm not crazy about. We're going to... We'll talk about that, and I, I know why they did it, and I know the whole purpose for it, and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. What are we going to do? Set that there. Just a second. <coughs> all right. Now, these guys, no joke, man. This is cold rolled steel. This is the same stuff that they're using on that 36-inch one. Oh, this is nice, man. When I first got it, I was a little concerned because of the color of it and I'm like okay this is going to stick on here I'm going to have problems but knowing what I know from the big 36 inch one the surface, uh, surface on this and I, I steal a line from, uh, from my buddy and my manager and I use it on air he, he gets nothing for it you treat this thing like it owes you money that's uh, that's what I like about it you can hammer on this you can smack around with the uh, spatulas you can go ahead and uh, Oh God, what else? What else did I do with this? You take a blade right on the surface and cut your food on it. So here we go. There's the, oh, here. You know what? Before I put that on, let me set this here. Just like that. Have a look. So this is what they did different. There's two burners, both which with the H pattern here. They didn't even bother, you know, going the cheap route with one little stick here and hope the whole metal's going to heat up. You've actually got some pretty serious coverage with the propane flame in here. So, you know, as far as even cooking goes, phew, I'll tell you what. And, and look at this. They even... I love that. You know, I really like this company. They even went so far as to, uh, you know, give you a separate igniter for each burner. So, the 17 inch, which is generally the smaller one that they do, only has one burner. So, you know, it's very cool and it's a neat item and, and it works well. But if I've got a bigger family and I want to kind of expand my cooking repertoire, then I want to be able to, uh, you, you know, have the kind of control that Blackstone's known for and kind of what I got used to over there, which was the you know multiple burners and being able to keep things warm on one side and cook it on the other the whole nine yards so these guys are your little rubber feet so you're guessing by now that this is tabletop uh th this one doesn't come with a whole bunch of legs and stuff so this is designed to work on any sort of table i've never had uh never had any heat issues which is a good thing so i mean yeah, most outdoor tables are pretty stable they're wood or they're granite or they're rock and that's all you need to do is is just sit on top of your table and you're ready to go for tailgating this is fantastic. 
to be able to you know make some of the meals that I've been able to make on that big 36 inch one and I'm thinking holy moly now I can do these in a ball game or a, an event or whatever it's a big deal man uh, there's some stuff that you can do on here that you just absolutely can't do on a regular grill their 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 tagline is anything anywhere anytime and no kidding man you can make everything you can make on your regular grill plus a thousand things that you can't so uh that's it Seriously, that's it. What do we got here? A couple little extra doodads. I think I know what this is. This is our grease trap. I'm going to tell you something. One of the things that I didn't like about the big 36 inch one is how it handled the grease. Because in order for it to kind of work effectively when you clean, you kind of scrape everything towards you. There's not much of a lip there. So, I mean, now that I've used it a few times and I'm kind of used to it and I'm tired of burning my groin and shins, you got to be really careful when you get to the end so you don't flip the hot oil on yourself. <laughs> that's fun. So, these guys have done a little bit better job with this. I love the way this handles the grease. Absolutely love it. It's got a little drop container at the back. So as you're cleaning and as you're cooking, you just push everything towards the back and it funnels into that grease trap. And here's the cool part. There's a lip at the front. So you don't have to worry as you're, uh, you know, doing your, doing your, doing your thing and flipping around, wee, doing all that kind of stuff, that you're going to start getting stuff all over yourself. I love, love, love that lip there. So we got our grease trap. We got everything on here. By the way, these work best when they're level. One of the things that I don't care for on the 36-inch one is the inability to level it out. Don't get me wrong, it's still like my favorite grill in the backyard right now, I gotta tell you that. But, there's a couple of little things that are missing on that, that this one got right. And I'll say it again, they built this one specifically for HSN. No pressure. <laughs> this is like a whole couple of containers of just this one. And here's what they did different. Let me turn this around so you can see it. They gave you two burners with two separate controllers. So, you can either go you know high cooking on one side here you can keep everything warm on the other you can have everything ready to go if you are doing like uh, Philly cheesesteaks or the you know you're caramelizing a whole big thing of onions I love the individual control I love the individual heat zones I love the size of it you know this is what everybody else is pretending to be every time you see a griddle whether it's indoors or out and it isn't cold rolled steel over fire it's a copy they're trying to figure out a way to emulate this experience for you, either in a cheaper way, a more effective way, a more economical way. These guys just did it. When you go into your favorite diner, your favorite breakfast place, whatever it is, half the time it's Blackstone or something like this. So this isn't uh, uh, something to kind of get you through or whatever. This is it, man. This is the authentic flat top griddle experience. So this is the only thing about this one that I kind of wish they did a little bit different. This is how you're going to use your uh, propane okay? and this is designed out of the box for a, uh, a one or two pound you know those ones that you get it for a few bucks now I know why they did this don't get me wrong and it's very convenient if you're tailgating you're on your way to here you're on your way to there it's really cool to be able to pick up that one or two pound propane tank anywhere you want to go and be able to use this anywhere for myself not a huge camper so you know I kind of I, I want my 20 gallon one I wish it came with a little regulator, but to be honest with you, uh, it's available, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. I just need something to complain about. All right? My wife will tell you the same thing. So here we go. Here the, oh, fiance. Not my wife yet. Speaking of her, look at my shirt. She's in charge of my wardrobe. So this is today's selection. I like it. Every couple of days, new shirts come in. So yay. That's fun. I like it, like it, like it. What else did I got? I got the uh, uh, keep calm and grill on. That's a fun one. We'll wear that next time. I love when new shirts come. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so here's actually a really good opportunity to show you something kind of cool. Um, I don't even need to get my level out to know that I'm kind of going this way a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. One of the things I like about this unit is I can use these rubber feet to level out my grill. You can also use these to kind of make the, uh, the, the front a little bit higher. So as you're cooking, the grease will go into the side. I dig that a lot. So here's the deal, okay? In order for these, here, let me turn this around. It's a much prettier picture to look at while I'm talking. These have to be seasoned. No two ways about it. It takes a little bit of time. That's your prep work on this. 
that's what uh, that's your investment in, in 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 the next 10 years worth of unbelievable meals the more you use this the more seasoned it's going to get and and one of the ways that i like to describe that you're leaving your signature your family signature on this grill it's like your grandma's cast iron it's like the best seasoned 100 foot uh, grill plates at the five star restaurants that boast the one and only in the world it is the one and only in the world because it's the only thing that has that restaurant signature it's got it's 20 or 30 years of history on that grill this is 20 or 30 years of blank history right here, but you've got to get it ready. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, unlike a lot of other unboxings and testings where I was just kind of taking, we'd cook something on it, I'm going to actually wait about a week on this before we come back to it, all right? Uh, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll set everything up, same shirt and all that kind of stuff, just so everything looks all cool. But I'm going to get a couple of weeks, so I want this seasoned, so I can give you a really fair test of how this is going to work for you in your house, okay? So uh, uh, thanks for part one. I'm going to uh, go and cook and eat and get fat and happy, and I will see you in about a week with this, all right? So, uh, the number one thing that I'm going to uh, focus on in my demonstration on HSN, to be honest with you, the number one thing that I focus on in my house is breakfast because there is nothing like cooking breakfast on a flat top i promise you that uh it's it's changed the way we eat in the mornings in here no question about it so we're going to start with some potatoes all right so we slap the potatoes on there that's the first stop to any breakfast and the potatoes uh just like in regular kitchens take a, a little bit longer to cook than everything else so here's what we're going to do uh we're going to let this uh get nice and kind of crisp here and then what's kind of cool about this is we're able to, once it's done, slide everything over to a warming section, which is really actually kind of cool. Uh, so here's how I do my potatoes. Everybody's got a different way. Um, I like to parboil mine, uh, cut already up in cubes, and then I give them a little bit of a shake. I never bother peeling them, A, because I'm lazy, and B, because they taste better. Uh, and uh, then you freeze them, always freeze them, because what you want to be able to do is crisp up that outside without uh, you know the inside going crazy. And this is a type of potato where it's not perfect even uh you know cubes when it's done it's a little messy it's a little edge on there but i like it that's the way we like it had it that way since i was a kid so we're gonna let that get going here get a little bit of water in there just to get the cooking process going up good so i'll be right back and grab a little bit of salt and pepper while we have time i gotta give my aunt a little plug they were here for a visit a little while ago she just retired and got into making pottery mm -hmm. this is it it's a salt maker that keeps, ever, uh, keeps the salt dry in Florida. But it holds the salt very well and it's very attractive, so I like it a lot. I'm not sure about the drying thing, but you know, I didn't pay for it. So. <laughs> there you go, a little salt, a little pepper in the potatoes, just like that, I like it. All right, here we go. Now, normally, uh, you wouldn't be using this like this. Uh, we're up a, a little higher just for, uh, uh, you know, test purposes so you can really see what's going on. So we're going to let that start to crisp up just like that. Keep her going. Oh, you know what's fun about these? This. Let me tell you, uh, I kind of wish this came with it, but, you know, I, we want to be able to get this to, to your house for the, the, the lowest price possible. So I understand the decision to do it, but, and, and I have a blog on this. Always buy the damn accessories, and these you got to have. Can you use a regular spatula? Yep. Is it as much fun? Nope. These are a... Woo! That little flip there. I'm telling you, you can have a good time with this. All right, let's give this a little go. Now, I'm starting to get some brownie, which is what I'm looking for. So, look. Oh, by the way, it's loud. It's fun. It's attention-getting. It's just a, it's a good time, man. There's a lot of action. So here's what's cool about this. I'm going to turn this temperature down over here just a little bit because I still want my potatoes to cook, but I don't need them to cook that fast. And you can use the edge on this. Use the edge to your advantage. It's like an extra hand, just like that. And by the way, if you get worried about the grill getting dirty, don't worry about the grill getting dirty <laughs> because it's so simple to clean when we're done. So here's what we're going to do. Again, I'm a little bit limited space up here just because we're kind of testing out. I'm going to get rid of my little salt maker and we are going to do some let's see i've got some tony little bison sausages so let's kind of lay those out it's fun with the amount that you can do on this grill and you know you let these burners heat up you get nice even cooking all the way along I mean, dude it's steel <laughs> what are we looking for here steel's going to heat up pretty evenly along the uh, along the path there so we'll go ahead and put those on we'll get a few slices of toast on here this is great for pancakes it's great for uh 
quesadillas, any of that wide stuff, and go ahead and fill it. By the way, if you're worried about a grill that's going to look pretty, that's going to, you know, be one of these uh, little, little, little shining jewels in your backyard that just kind of gleams when people walk out at one of those show grills, this isn't it. This is the down and dirty, I'm going to cook anything I want on it flat top. And like I said before, treat it like it owes you money. It ain't going to do nothing to this thing. So let's get a couple of eggs going here. Now, I have seasoned this grill pretty well. But the bottom line is, you want to be able to keep seasoning it and keep seasoning it. You don't want to have to put any like non-stick stuff on there or anything like that. So, you know what, you get this going long enough and this gets seasoned up really, really nicely. By the way, when they uh, when the eggs fall into the toast, we just call it poached eggs and toast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See how easy that is? You never ruin a meal if you just change the name of it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Holy moly. Wow. All right. Well, that's faster than a toaster. <laughs> that's the coolest thing. There we go. Uh-oh, that burned. It's over. All right, I like a little. Uh, I like a little on mine. Let's do a couple more here, just like that. Now I have a bet with myself, and I bet I'm going to break a yolk. So we see how we do. If I win, I get a egg without a broken yolk. Yay! <laughs> Guys, you know what? This is exactly what I look for in a product. Something that's fun. It's functional. It doesn't fight me when I'm trying to work with it. It's social, I love social products. I love products that get everybody gathered around so they can enjoy what's going on along with you. They can be part of the experience. Toaster comes off a burner is really bloody hot, so I'm gonna use my spatula. Always get the accessories. <laughs> Save yourself some fingers, just like that. Now, I want you to have a look here, okay? Different types of non-stick cookware all have their place, every one of them. The copper, the titanium, the, uh, uh, what else is out there? Copper, titanium, tritanium, quantanium, uh, green stuff, ceramic. They've all got their place. The only problem with those is every time you use it, you just kind of, it's like an Etch-a-Sketch. You, you just kind of shake it upside down and everything's gone. It's great for a quick meal. It's great if you don't want to take the time and the hassle. But if you want a little love in breakfast, you want to have a little experience, man, that's not the way to go. This is the way to go. And when it comes to that whole non-stick, I should have bet myself with the shells at a loss. When it comes to non-stick, as long as you've seasoned this and you care for it properly, it's not going to be an issue. So even things like eggs, I want you to watch it, whoop, just like that, you guys. Now this is the kind of experience that you get at a diner all the time. And this is what we're talking about. I just bloody love this, man. This is so much fun. And when we're talking speed and convenience, this is food that's done fast too. That's one of the things that I really like. We're gonna put that there, just like that. And let, let's go ahead and do one, two, three, and four. Thank you, Tony Little. The bison stuff's great. I got a little bit of green stuff for my potatoes, just like that. And here we go. Now, a couple eggs right there, and a couple of eggs right there. Can I tell you something, man? This is as good as outdoor cooking gets. Cold rolled steel. Blackstone's been in the business forever. They know exactly what they're doing. I can't wait to air this on HSN. I'm so excited, I'm vibrating. Guys, this is a good one. I don't know how many marks on the grill I can give it, but this one's up here. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out when we do the, uh, the, the written review. Throw me a little regulator so I use my 20 gallon propane tank. And man, this is as good as it's ever get. I love it. Blackstone's got it, baby. first time we're able to stand on live television and talk about cooking without compromise. Anything, anytime, anywhere on a machine that you can treat like it owes you money. Oh my You're gosh. not going to hear anything about silicone or wood here, so watch. It's unbelievable <laughs> the size of this thing, guys. So let me give you an idea. 21 and a quarter inches long by 27 and a half inches wide. Watch this. 
There's a famous restaurant in Las Vegas, and the funnest time to be there is about 5.36 in the morning, because half the people there are just starting their day, and the other half are just finishing. <laughs> and they serve this pancake there, and I've always wanted to make it at home, but I've never, ever, ever even come close to being able to have the equipment. This is where it starts to get kind of interesting, okay? Oh, I love it. I love when the host grabs a spatula, man. That's too fun. So I think I'm gonna try this spatula. Where Let's in give the that a world? world? I've never seen a spatula that <laughs> now, far. This is funny. I ran into Luca Caputo and he's like, Mark, every time you do the pancake, here's what's happening. We all freeze. Half of us want the flip to happen. The other ones want it all over the floor. So I'll tell you what, no matter where this ends up, it's perfect. But here's my hill. You gotta commit to the flip. Awesome! <laughs> I love it. Ready, Marla? Now, I like it a little bit on the soft side, so here we go. And there is Perfect. your caramelized, Ooh. oh man, look at this. I love this, oh, I love the sour cream in there. There we go, we're gonna get our little bit of spice on there. Now we've got, oh man, that's our syrup. This is our chocolate. Now we're gonna take this guy, oh, geez. just like this, oh, gee. I love it. This has a creamy, crunchy, unbelievable sweet texture to it. There's a fork right there that's all clean. And what I want you to do is get on in, right in there, take a little corner. and you're gonna taste the sour cream, the sweetness, the milk, the eggs, the caramelized brown sugar, the bananas, and it all wraps up into this. Oh my gosh, Hello. it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and can it's I show you something? fantastic, guys. This grill that we've been working on all day today is gonna get packed up and it's gonna put, get put away. And when we bring this out two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, right. you as a host are gonna notice something. This is a first day and I'm gonna look you square in the eye a year from now and I want you to remember this. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you, did this taste better than the first day? Your answer is going to be yes, because every meal that we're ever going to cook on this is going to leave its signature. Write your family ah, history. So it's almost like on this seasoning grill. it, like the, like the, those good old. Oh. Remember those good old cast iron pans mm -hmm. that your grom, grandma had, <laughs> right? And made the best cornbread, the best fried chicken in the world. Same yep. kind of thing. That's why those roadside stops. That's why there's history in those. You That's why there's those shows places. built around yeah. it. They travel across the country to get there because they their signature is different than anybody else's, and so is yours. You can do this. Everything you saw here, it couldn't be easier.